Hello everybody and welcome back to Morphine Folia. We are jumping in again. As I said last time, our streak came to a grinding halt because I'm terrible at this game. But anyways, yes! Yes, we get to play Golem, and this is actually a nice day to be playing Golem as well because he just there was just a Fiend Folio update released today that added some new rocks to this fella. But yeah, love this character. I've set the new characters to be slightly higher on the um on the sort of waiting for when they show up. We get the meat slab. The player constantly sweats out arc tiers that have chance to inflict sweating. Sweating rate increase based on how low the player's HP is in comparison to their maximum red hearts. Chance to fire a tier that inflicts sweating. Interesting. So I think first thing we want to do is we want to grind this one, don't we? And then we want to chop this one into health. Fires tiers at nearby enemies. Okay, I think we've got some good stuff going on here. The sweating... Um, with these little- oh, they're so cute. This- maybe this is a new one. There's plenty of rocks I still haven't seen yet, but this might end up being a new one. Uh, and first question of the day today, I'm gonna keep it a little bit Fiend Folio themed. Um, what's something you'd add to Fiend Folio if you could? Based on some of the stuff that they've already been adding, based on some of the stuff that you've already seen, what's something that you think would be a really nice, uh, addition to Fiend Folio? Um, of course the dev team are doing an absolutely fine and dandy job. Ooh. We could re-roll that into a mystery gift. But let's see if we can find our secret room first, and I'll consider that. Uh, also, we should maybe do our boss room first to see if our boss item ends up being worse, because we might want to turn that into it anyways. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to say there's so much stuff in Fiend Folio. It'd be really cool to see what some of the uh, ideas people have that they think could be cool additions to it. Because yeah, there's just so much to go at. So much to... This is a really bad room. I really like these style of rooms, though. I think they're, they're like, tricky, but they feel claustrophobic, but in a good way. There's, there was definitely a, a, a trend of it being claustrophobic in a bad way, in my opinion, when it was out for uh, AB+. And they really have fixed that a lot. Ooh, careful for the bouncies. Okay, I think once the poops are gone, these guys fly off, right? I don't think they're going to stick around. No, they are not. Good, good. Is this an XL floor? It's not. Um, I think we do this one at a time. Didn't quite kill the uh, the sack dude. I'm really liking this ability of all these extra tiers we're firing right now, though. That seems to be uh, a good way of dealing quite a bit of extra damage early on. And it's nothing major. It's not like we're firing out a ton. But it's it's enough to be making a difference, certainly. We do have a uh, rainbow poop there, which I don't think we have any use for. Um, we might as well bomb into here. Just because... It gives us the ability to destroy some poops and get a bomb back, so why not? But yeah, I'd like to find my secret room to see if I can utilize Mysterious Gift a little bit more. I might just keep the card until I get an even worse item. That's also a good idea. I don't know what's best. Ooh, extra penny. Uh, secret room-wise, I'm not really so sure. I'll be honest, I'm not really so sure. There's a lot of options there. Um, and we indeed did get a boss item that I'd much rather turn to Mysterious Gift, so I'm, I'm glad that I waited here, because uh, I do not care at all about Cuba Meat, especially on Golem here. Especially on Golem. But yeah, um, something that I'd definitely like to see more of is, um, I think they have some really interesting items in Fiend Folio, and they have a lot of them, but I feel like maybe some of the trinkets, they could be, like, I think the fact that Golem has so many trinkets and other characters only really have one way of getting them, it'd be cool to see some of them reworked into regular trinkets as well, because they're just so fun, and I realise it's kind of Golem's charm that they're exclusive to him, but it still would be fun to see them available more readily on other characters as well. Occasionally fire tears that cause bleed. Okay, this is pretty good as well. Unfortunately, we don't have any way to suck any of these down. Um, by fire tears that cause bleed, does that just mean when we're firing normally, or does that mean extra? Okay, I think that just means normal. So let's first of all go down here and crush that down. Good. Come back up this way. I much prefer this little fella. Right, so we go and buy the bombs and that'll give us more bombs to check for secret rooms as well, which is nice. And then we take the mysterious gift card. We utilize that to uh, turn Cuba meat into something much better. So we'll grab these. Right, now we've actually got to find the secret room, which is a little bit tricky. 
I'm not exactly, because I, I would have thought it's here, but with the thin room being there, I'm pretty sure it's impossible for it to be there. It could be here. It's not. Okay. Um, it could be here. It's not. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Um... Hmm, having a little bit of trouble. Let's just go and get our gift card now. Ooh, wait, ooh, wait. One more thing, one more thing, actually. If there's two shops in the thingy, if there's two items in the shop, I'll be able to get them for free. It's mysterious gifts. There's only one, okay? I don't, don't really care, then. It can it can make uh, shop items free, but I think that's a bug, so it might have been fixed. But I don't want to risk it. I'll turn that into mysterious gift. Right, where do we have secret room then? So it's not there. We might have one here. We do, good. Okay, so that's at least this one found. We can pop that. And that helps. That definitely helps. Um, wasn't really what I was expecting to get out of all of this, but you know, I'll be reasonably happy with that. So let's try and find regular secret room now off of the back of that. So it could be... It could be here, maybe? It is. Okay. Good. Good. Right. Uh, each floor has a marked spot that can be bombed uh, to spawn a fossil. Gives a random fossil when crushed. Dirt patches can be bombed open. We got some really good stuff here. I think I might take that over the sweating ability. Because the sweating ability is, like, good but not super useful it's fun and it does seem it does seem interesting but yeah i think we i think we get rid of the sweating ability as much as it is a lot of fun really hate the placement of this i feel like i'm actually going to trade my dude away um and then go back into the secret room here and grab this just because we got so many bombs we have a reliable way to use this new one so i think we go for it and um, we might as well get another key here as well because why not I actually really like Pyro as an item. I mean, offensively it's really good, defensively it's pretty good, and we have a bomb upgrade which makes it even better. Getting two big, big ass bomb upgrades on the first floor is always fun. Um, and yeah, also with this character, secret rooms always contain um, an extra stone, an extra rock trinket, so I think it's the way to go. I think both of these we're going to immediately chisel onto our body. I'm just going to go for it. Good, good. I mean, that does... You do got to remember it does weaken their effect when we chisel it onto us. That's something that I, I tend to forget. Montezuma's Revenge is pretty good here. Um, Soul Blue Baby doesn't really matter to me. Yeah, it's it's something that I do forget that we do get a weakened effect whenever we uh, smell it. I do wish the EID description was, was more clear about what the weakened effect is. Because there really isn't any reference to what, like, how much weaker it's going to be or what the weakened effect even does. Because there's some trinkets that I bet just aren't worth smelting at all because their weakened effect is so much weaker. And there's some where weakening them doesn't actually mean all that much for you. So it is just a little annoying that the EID description doesn't give you a, a clear idea as to um, how much weaker it's going to end up being. It would be nice to see that. Think secret rooms here it is indeed, and we get the brick. The brick isn't uh, is one that I just simply do not care about. But I'm just gonna re-roll it a few times. In fact, I'll wait for my I'll wait for my shop first before I start re-rolling it. Um, what, what what have I just done here? I've just accidentally walked back through again. Whatever. Um, yeah, because I might, I might want to buy something from my shop with, with this money that we've got right now. I don't want to use it early. But yeah, the, the brick is kind of okay, but it's just one that you just kind of throw about. It's kind of a, a more of a meme one, really, than anything else. It's kind of fun to utilize, I will say. But it is a little bit tricky to use. Make sure we don't accidentally throw it over the spikes. We'll keep carrying it and try and utilize it where we can. I don't know if you can drop it into pits. That would be annoying if you can. 
Okay. Keep moving. Oh, hello. And it does concuss as well, apparently. I love the way these give bouncy bullets onto your own shots. Oh, you can break these. I did not know that. I guess they just count as mushrooms. Or pots, by the sound of the um, noise they made when I broke it. This is a slightly annoying room. I, I should be using uh, Montezuma's Revenge a lot more than I currently am. It's a very, very strong item to get early on. It's just, it's just a little hard to use is all. you got to stand very particularly. It's not all bad. Gotcha. We got ourselves an uh, item chest that unfortunately was just a troll bomb. Sometimes that can happen. Soul of Apollyon is what it is. Thank you. Soul of Apollyon. Solian of Apollyon. There's a mod that makes it say that. I found that pretty funny. Solian of Apollyon. Give me that brick. Good. I'm hoping we can keep the bomb flies. Um, nope. They're both gone. <laughs> I was going to say, I was hoping we could keep them for the boss fight, but... It's never that easy, is it? Um, shop, shop, uh, where are you? We're taking our sweet time on this run. We are playing a little slow, but I think it's worth it. Hey, so, see, now we have, actually have enough to buy a shop item if we want it. So, it was a little more worthwhile to hang on. Oh, God, that was a really bad hit by, by me there. I always forget what these ghosts do. These ones that launch themselves at you. They're very coy. Okay, yes, they are. Devil. We'll just take the devil. Right, so... Wooden Nickel's decent, but I don't really think it's worth it. I think we're just going to go and uh, trade out our brick for something a bit better. We haven't seen our X marks the spot yet. So let's um, see if we can get something a little more interesting out of this. Eh. Passively improves smelted rocks, gives... Um, Gives and smelts random common rock when crushed. Passively improves smelted rocks. Okay, so this seems like a good one to hold on to permanently. Like, we never smelt it, we always, like, hold on to it. That seems like a good one to me, because we don't want to weaken that effect. So I'll keep that in mind. Might be a little hard to remember that sometimes, but I'll try to when I can. Oh god, we got some tough enemies down here. Get into my Montezuma's Revenge, you. Oh no. He's a reformer as well. It's terrible. We managed him just fine, but still. Uh, right. I think we're pretty good here. We didn't find our X Max for spot. I don't know how apparent it's meant to be. We should definitely try and find second secret room, though. Um, although, I'm, I'm really not sure where it would be. Is this it here? It is. Nice. Um, other fossils crushing effects activate twice. Activating the effects of another held fossil when crushed. Interesting. This is another one that seems like it's worth just holding onto and not smelting. Like I said, though, it's hard to know because the game doesn't actually tell you. And then here we got large tier, uh, large tiers up. The player never stops firing. Ooh, that sounds pretty awesome. Okay, so let's grab that. Was that a large tears up? I'm going to smelt it to me anyways. It'll be a lessened effect, so it won't be as good, but I'm going to smelt that to me. Oh, wait. Can I not smelt that to me? I can. Oh. Uh. Ah. I should have thought about this. That has completely ruined Montezuma's revenge. It literally doesn't work anymore. Okay, I didn't consider that. My bad. That was a very minor tears up for the ability for the removal of the ability to fire, which I, I class as not great. 
Yeah, that's that, that that's that's a bit of a burner, that is. That is me being an absolute idiot. Whoopsie. A big fat whoopsie. What happens if I use a card? Does it let me fire off my Montezuma's Revenge then? No, it does not. Okay, so Montezuma's Revenge is gone. For uh, what I would consider as a fairly minor tears up. Also, this is a very annoying room. That was um, a goof. I will call it as it is. That was a big goof. I should have paid more attention to that. Also, finding the X on this floor might be a little tricky considering we've got Curse of Darkness. It won't be insanely difficult, but it definitely won't be easy. I'll take this pill. It's a range down. Heck. Damn, I have majorly goofed. Ooh, these little flies are interesting. I don't think I've seen that anywhere before. Wicked Soul. Wicked Soul's very, very good for us here. Nice all stats up. A big chunky all stats up. But um, we always gain an additional cast every floor. Extra damage um, and extra damage of holding another geode. I'm just going to crush this one. I need the health and extra damage seems real good around about now. I don't really know where I'm going anymore. I've lost mapping and it has confused my soul. We've been to our item room though, we know that. Whoa, what? Is... Okay, them, them guys are a bit new. They're like detonate now, that's cool. Did they always do that, like with the mod that I've got on, or is that a new part of the mod? One nice thing is, I can play a one-handed pretty much now. <laughs> or for the most part, I do have to change the direction I'm firing in, but once, I've, once I'm firing the right direction, take my hand completely off the wheel. Slippy Rock, um, Friction Down. Ooh, that sounds awful. Oh, well, actually... That's really weird, like, we move so much faster. I don't think I want that, but that's that's pretty interesting. Um, range and shot speed. Let's grab this, and let's grab this. Let's go trade both of these in. Yeah, the, the, the friction thing's kind of interesting. Nice. Okay, health is looking much better now. I should really uh, pop a bomb on that Wheel of Fortune card there. Wheel of Fortune. And that's why we do it. That was so worth it. We now fire Coin Tears. An item that I really like that is exceedingly rare. Oh, shit. Damn you, I would love to have Montezuma's Revenge right now. These ghosts are a bit of a pain. Still not seeing our X on the floor. It's going to be, like I said, a little hard to see here. Oh, we only have two keys. For some reason, I saw my bomb count and was like, we have 85 keys, it's fine. No, we don't, you fool. Yeah, kill this guy before he fires again. Thank you. I'm sure you guys are going to be spotting out the X on the floor a lot and being like, it's right there, turtle! That's right there, and I'm going to completely miss it. I'm sure it's going to happen many a time. We got a shop. We have the uh, doubles all trinket spawns. Converse any trinkets to golem trinkets on use. Interesting. That seems very useful. As Golem, we're going to have uh, a wider choice of trinkets and the ability to get a lot more health. Also, a lot more money there. Thank you. Ow. Of course, I still get hit. We got chance to fire bouncy tennis balls that inflict bruise and deal knockback. If holding another geode, higher chance. Ooh, that, that sounds really fun. In here, we got Pascal Candle. I'll definitely take it. I might as well fi uh, fire at you as well, because why not? Hello. 
Gimme, gimme. Soul of Eden. Uh, first of all, let's... I really don't know what to smelt here. I think I... think I um... Actually, I can't smelt anything, so I really don't know what to get rid of. Do I get rid of the damage up? I think maybe yes. I don't know which one I'm getting rid of right now, so I'm just going to drop both. I don't really want to get rid of the damage, but honestly, the ability to fire tennis ball sounds fun. Let's go back over to the boss room. Now let's grab that. I got Soul of Eden on this. Eh. Not bad. Not bad. Anyways, let's go down. Kind of a weird run we got going on here. I think Pascal Candle is going to be a huge pickup for us. I think that extra fire rate is going to be pretty nice. Yeah, let's smelt the tennis ball one to us now. Nice. That's exactly what I wanted. So maybe this other one that improves the power of smelted ones just basically returns them to what they would be before they were smelted. I would assume that that's the case. Oh, shit. I didn't need to, I didn't need to go this way. I'm going to have to wait now. Wait for the lily pads to come back. Get rid of those fellas. Ow! Yeah, I like this. The bouncies and everything. I like this. That seems really strong. Also, this little heart thing, this little heart coin, pretty good. Drop us various pickups here and there. Oh, I love the sound of all those bubbles popping. I need to be a bit more active about trying to find my secret room. I've got so many bombs, it's so easy for me to find it. I need to be kind of spamming my bombs about to try and find it, because we get extra... Um, we get extra thingies, trinkets for doing so. So it's really a win-win for us. I don't know where it is currently, though, on this floor. There's not, we've not seen a place where it can be. We ended up finding the X in the last floor, and we got Curse of Darkness again this floor, so... I'm going to say that the X is probably a small bit of a lost cause. Nice. Need to try and not get hit as much so I can keep my Pascal Candle alive. Keep it doing what it's meant to be doing. It does give us a pretty insane fire rate boost. Ooh. What have you got for me here? Um, Voodoo Geode. Damage up when a curse is present on the floor. That is very, very good for us. What have we got here? Sometimes fire a flurry of weak tears to spawn yellow creep. Frequency scales with tears. Ah, oh, that's tricky because this is... Wait. Um, no, it's not actually. I think I think we get to have both. I'm pretty sure we get to have both here. While a curse is present, 0 0.3 for um, for the floor when entering a curse room for the first time. Because we always have a curse, so we're always going to keep that damage. And then, yeah, we take that as well. Damn. Okay, that's firing a lot of those. Um, what the hell's this? Occasionally burn nearby enemies when grinded, smelts your other trinkets. Okay. This is grinded, right? Yes, it is. Good. Short range tech 2 beams that will do 30% damage. If holding other geode, fire two parallel beams instead. I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to be holding on to this again. Nice. I don't know. I think I, think I still get the same damage bonus by the looks of it. Also, this... Uh, the spewing thing might have been a bad idea. <laughs> it, like, it seems good, but goddamn, I feel like the lag is going to build. We're dropping creep, like, absolutely all over the place, but it's not always the best thing. I don't know why I even bothered to take Burgo bombs, honestly. It's a little bit silly. I just wanted more bombs, what can I tell you? 
Okay, can this guy actually puke out his brain for me, please? Thank you. Stars card is decent as well here. Oh my god, yeah, we just got an insane amount of creep on screen. It's, it's kind of baffling how much creep we got here. Um, I guess I have to open this up. Kind of weird. Usually these are optional puzzle pieces. Oh, what the hell? I think creep just hit me then. I lost a lot of fire right there. Oh, well. Damn it, I tried to get it into his mouth, but I did it a bit too late. So hard to get the bomb in his mouth. I think we just about got him here. Hey, nice one. Um, we got GMO corn. I'm just gonna take it. It can be a bit risky, but oh, we did get gulp though, which we didn't particularly want, unfortunately. Uh, grinds into common or rare. Dropping um, the trinket in a shop exchanges it for money. Both of these are terrible, so I'm going to go and... Uh, well, not terrible. Both of these aren't very useful to us. I'm going to use some of our money to uh, re-roll them into something potentially better. So actually, one of them we'll just uh, get rid of here for some health. This one we'll keep. That's a very short range tech 2 beam. I was expecting it to be a bit more than that. Reroll it. What have we got a soul of keeper here. Oh god, things are getting buggy. Um, spawn a tiger's eye familiar bouncer in the room, dealing contact damage and blocking shots. Bounces directly towards the closest enemy. We also got constantly fires in a random direction. Wait a minute. <laughs> I think we bugged the game just a bit. Okay, so let me just let me just quickly do this. I think we might have bugged the game somewhat, so I can let me let me work this out. So I can go over here and I can smelt this. And then I can put this into here. Yeah. This is uh this is gonna be pretty broken. Then I can take this. And put that in there. Yeah, this is busted. We broke everything. Right, I'm just going to do a few things here. For one, pop this stars card just to get it out the fucking way. I really wish I wasn't constantly firing, but it is what it is. Um, also, try not to bomb him. Wait, where the fuck did all my bombs go? Oh, bombs are key, you bastard. <laughs> That's hilarious. God damn it. Um, okay. Give me this pill. If this takes me to an error room, I'm going to cry. No, just give me LSD. Okay. Um, right. So then we... First pickup on every floor costs one cent, but disappears when bought. These pickups are spawned at the start. What the hell? What does that even mean? Anyways, we can then attach this to ourselves. Then we can grab... What the hell's this troll one? We do a little trolling. I think the troll one is probably going to be the one to trade in here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They prevented us breaking the game. Good for you. Anyways, charms female enemies and occasionally fire freezing tears. And then this one, I'm just going to trade in for HP. Okay, they did actually add in a preventative measure to stop you absolutely breaking the game. Good on them, because I did find a game break here. Uh, this shrink, this this spacebar item, not compatible <laughs> with with Fiend, uh, with uh, Golem, sorry. Doesn't really do, uh, I mean, it kind of does what it's supposed to do, but it, it yeah, it makes, it makes a mess. Also, LSD here is lasting way too long, as it tends to do. Okay. 
Occasionally freezing enemies is quite nice here. Nice, got some bombs back here at least. I would like the majority of my, uh... I would like the majority of my bombs back, please. I prefer that. Transform bomb rocks into troll bombs and... Uh, transform bomb rocks and troll bombs into bomb pickups. It's decent to have on me. It's not super useful. What the hell? This is a rare room. Bunch of miser hearts, bunch of golden hearts. That's a lot of miser hearts, actually. I'm imagining this is meant to be just golden hearts and we just got lucky with the miser hearts. Yeah, this room kind of went hard. I like the fact that there's just so much creep on the ground. We need the cork. If we could get the cork, that would be fantastic. Also, let's just go down here real quick and see what's what. We do have one of these guys to bomb. Dude. You fucker. You absolute fucker. A never stopping firing thing is uh, causing me some bodily harm. Don't like it. We're killing stuff alarmingly quickly though, which is nice. I'm taking some pretty hefty damage, but we've got a lot of money coming our way from all the golden hearts. Which I very much like. Oh, hello. Oh, you're apparently female, are you? You're a big ball of shit, so... But well, you do you, I guess. Right. Bomb here. Run away. Dude! The fucking bouncy shot! <laughs> How dare you! So annoying. Candied heart! I don't imagine doing a lot for us, but I'm not gonna not take it. Oh shit, this does still make our uh, trinkets gold. I'll just have to tr try it. We can get golden um, golden trinkets, which I don't know how good that is, but I've been, I've been wasting it by not using it because it didn't say that in the description. Well, maybe it did and I just didn't read it right. It almost certainly did. I'm just done. Um, and we have ourselves. I mean, this is pretty good because we could get a better uh, space bar. Golem rocks, uh, spawns a golden trinket on pickup, grind your current trinkets into rock trinket. Can grind regular trinkets into rock trinkets. Um, I guess? <laughs> Strange. <laughs> kind of an interesting combo to have together. Is this even useful anymore? It is. We get one more flower of use out of it. Did get a nickel from that. Good. Getting discounts from the miser hearts here, by the way, if you're wondering what's giving me the discounts. Sadly, not much there for us. Yeah, I just I like to think that this big old hunk of shit is 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 a woman. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, it's funny. Do I like this? This 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 piece of shit looks girly. I'm liking the extra freezing though. That's nice. I'm going to be freezing pretty much, pretty regularly, should I say? Enemies close to the player are slowed and frozen on death. Yes, even more freezing. I just want to do some of these extra rooms here that we don't particularly have to do, but... And spiders are apparently female as well. What in the fuck is that? Holy shit! <laughs> is that new? Because that is terrifying and amazing. Holy, that's a really, really, really cool enemy. My goodness. I'm going to check the second secret room here. 
Didn't get it. All right, let's keep going. I'm liking the amount of freezing stuff we've got going on right now. Ow. Uh, blue cap. Then we got warm geode. Damage and shot speed up when you're near a fire. And extra range. Plus five range you're holding a geode. Gives an additional... Is that just like an insane range up? Is that all that does? No, that's not an, that's not an eight range up. Don't lie to me, game. Not even close to 8. <laughs> it was a 1.5 ranger. Strange. Uh, can we go down here and grind these? Or did I destroy? No! I didn't mean to do that. It's fine. It's fine. These 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 are good enough, but that is not what I intended to do at all. I think you know it. I meant to go down here. I didn't mean to go down to the next floor. Whoops. Whoops is all I'll say. I'll just keep them for now. I'll let them do their thing. I like the way that we, some of the things we have are luck-based chances. And we have like... Zero, we have like less than zero luck and the game's like, eh, that's fine. Well, I'll keep firing it for you. Like uh, an incredibly regular basis. Don't worry about it. It's almost like luck has absolutely no in uh, determining factor on it whatsoever. But, you know, it's fine. We got a uh, A side vinyl. Increased damage and shot speed. Flip to the B side on the first floor of, e uh, of the chapter, which increases tears and speed. Interesting. We also got this. And we also got this. Oh my god. I like this, but it's, it's not for us right now. What does this one even do, that, this golden one that we're holding? I don't even see. Oh, uh, this is the one where if we're near a fire, okay, then we'll take the vinyl as well. Do you know what? Let's let's grab these two first and go and turn them into health. Come back for the other two. And then we come back over here. And grab these two. And come back down here again and we can do some trading again. There's some really wacky stuff going on in this run. And I love it. It's a long run. That only gave me one this time. Sometimes it gives me like a consumable as well. Dropping the trinket in a shop. In exchange for stuff. Now nah, we, we already had that. We don't want to do that. Isaac Fart's been taking damage. No, thank you. Um, tears up, damage down, turns to fire. Um, a tear that makes enemies magnetic. I will take that and I will smell it to my body. Okay. I'm happy. Oh, ho, ho, yes. The magnetic shots are going to be good. I can feel that already. And again, they seem pretty common. I don't know if these ones are luck-based, though, actually. I didn't check. Extra bombs there. Oh, hello, you with the bounces and everything. Oh, no. Ugh. These are both gross. I'll take Cube of Rot, but I'm not very happy about it. I expect something better from you next time. Especially when I have a choice of two. Ooh, hello. Uh, let's get one familiar. I do want to keep some money. Demon Baby's fine by me. Explosive Fossil. Chance to drop an extra bomb on room clear. Chance for rocks to be replaced with bomb rocks. When crushed, grants the Mamma Mega effect for the next three. Decent. Decent. 
Beautiful. I'm happy with that. God damn, there's some crazy stuff going on with my character right now. It's not like... This is a pretty powerful run, but considering all the stuff that we've done, it's not actually as powerful as you'd think. It is very powerful, but not, like, insane powerful. I'm not complaining. I'm just surprised. It's, it's, it's it kind of it's a testament to how well-balanced this character is. Regardless of all the crazy shit that we're able to do right now, we're still seeing some semblance of not getting ridiculous too early. We got the ballot there. Let's just choose. I'm not that interested in being able to choose our boss right now, to be honest. It is a good uh, feature, but it's too late in the game for it to matter too much, I think. I wonder if it works with custom bosses as well. That'd be interesting to see. Okay. I'm loving all the tennis balls. All the yellow shots that are coming in whenever we... Uh, <laughs> Whenever we magnetize an enemy, they just get sucked towards them. It's beautiful. Great amount of money here. Uh, let's try and change that into a new one. Grinds into two common or rares. Okay, we'll keep that on hand. Oh, yay. We got the Mama, Mama, Mama Mega effect for the next three rooms. And that includes the boss room. Beautiful. Um, nothing else to do this floor. Good stuff. We do have boss rush here. I guess I'll just take dark path. Enemies get a random weak point. That's kind of interesting. We don't have a thingy room here though. I want to check what's in here. Satanic Bible's pretty good. Grants three bombs. Um, bombs spawn three random locusts when they explode. Enemies have a uh, look based chance to spawn a random locust on death. Brother Bobby, PhD. Let's let's take the locust thing. That sounds kind of fun. Well, I like the look of the bombs. They're really cool. I like the look of them. Where are you? There you are. I do not like the darkness that we have right now. That's not helping. Okay. Destroy you. I think we're going to kill these guys pretty quick. I don't think it's going to be super speedy. We're going to get through this decently fast, especially when enemies have got that bruising effect or whatever it is. All right, two little fellas we've got sat on our head as well here. I don't know how much... Oh, for God's sake. I don't know how much Pascal Candle's actually benefiting us. What? Where did that even come from? Oh, you're here. I'm having a really hard time finding you then. Oh, God. I do not want another LSD pill. Honestly, we're taking quite a lot of damage here. I was not expecting it to be as uh, difficult as this for us. Especially the fucking horse thing. Go away. I like the way that, like... This item from Fiendfolio, this Planetarium item, is actually two existing items in modding combined into one. It's the um, Star of the Bottomless Abyss, uh, Bottomless Pit, sorry, from um, Something Wicked, which uh, is on kill chance to get locusts, and then Void Bombs from uh, Ipecac, which is locusts on bombs. Pretty interesting to see the two ideas come together in one item. Okay, luckily we got a very quick kill there. Oh, hello, you're still about. I did not realise. Soul heart there's good. I am trying to use bombs whenever I can. To do damage, but also just to gain more locusts to, like, hit things for us. What the hell are you? Are you a new boss? Ah! I don't know what you were. But you're dead now, fool. Killed you instantly. Nice. Ah, oh, walk right into that. Don't worry, there's red hearts about. And then Duke, where are you? Ah, oh, there you are. Having a really hard time seeing bosses with this darkness. Is that blur? 
Yeah, that's poison blood. Ooh, hello. That's an interesting uh, new version of blood that I haven't seen before, I think. I think it's new. Looks new. No more bullshit brimstone for you, fella. And then who we got? Dark one. Haha, you can't make my screen dark. I'm already there. I was born in the darkness. Molded by it. You can't affect me. I think we've probably got like four or five more waves to go. Some people might wonder, by the way, why I don't use the mod that adds uh, the wave counter to boss rush. I did used to, but honestly, I, I don't I don't really like it. Like, I get that it is an advantage to be able to know how many waves you got left, but I kind of think that part of the tricky thing or part of the like experience of boss rush is not knowing how many waves there are to go. It's kind of like how the Beast and uh, Mother don't have health bars because part of the challenge is not knowing when the fight's going to be over or not knowing when you're going to hit the second phase. Now, I do have the boss bars on for those, but that's only because that's part of the enhanced boss bar mod, which I feel like is such a high-quality mod that I can't really turn those off because <laughs> they just look so great. Um, but with this, yeah, considering it's a standalone mod, I was just kind of like, eh, God, I hate this boss with a passion. We got Batty and Technopin. Okay, the pin pin went down really quick apparently. I didn't even see pin once. Two more waves. Two more waves. And maybe three actually. Maybe three. The double bombing. Yeah, I'd say two more after that one. Kingpin here, which is not a particularly hard boss. Slightly annoying boss, but not a particularly hard one. Still alive somehow. There you go. Then we got B Fella, which, again, not a particularly difficult one. If we can find him. <laughs> as soon as you do the sit down thing, you're basically dead. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, this, this, I think this is the last wave. Although, we, I think we've only fought one angel. Maybe not. I'm not very good at being able to tell. Where's this fella? There you are. Enemies that can't take damage via creep actually have a huge advantage over us. The amount of creep damage we can put out is insane. Is that it? Ah, one more. Eh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm way off, actually. It's like I said, we haven't fought the other angel yet. But I don't know. With with the new uh, bosses coming in, maybe you don't have to fight both of them every time. I really don't know if what's the case there. Hey, there you go. And we got blood rights. <laughs> that was so worth it. Anyhow, let's go down. I don't know how much health I have right now, which is a little scary. Spawn friendly um, shiitake spores um, as time goes on with a maximum of three at one time. Okay, so let's um, put that in there. Transfer coins, I don't really care about that. Transfer fire bugger tears, yes please. And then I can't remember what this one was doing. Let me check. Oh, this is just another one we can grind. Uh, chance to get a shield on damage that lasts for the room blocks one hit. When blocked, knocks back nearby enemies. Fire the short range techno. Chance to, okay, so these two can go straight in the trash. And crush both of those. I think we got the Mama Mega effect there as well. And then I think we'll keep these two. We'll put that one over there. And then this one we can keep on grinding. See what we get. A bunch more money at least. I think we should take the a bunch more luck. Oh, this is probably not the right room to use this in. I've got stuck behind him a little bit there. 
Yeah, so instead I'm gonna go and trash this one. I think we'll leave it there for this floor. Nice. I don't know what health we're on, but I think it's decent. I'm just gonna take this and we're gonna get out of here. Extra luck is gonna help out. We do lose it. I think if we get hit, we lose some of the luck. Yeah, Mama Mega should clear out a good few rooms for us here. Small rock is a nice side effect of doing that. Was not expecting it, but very welcome. No ability to smell on this floor. Yeah, I don't think gold, the gold trinkets do anything. I don't think having them gold makes any difference. I did lose some of my luck here already. Oh, there's more of it gone. Okay, um, it's not looking good so far. So I think what we do here is we go and pick up whatever this one was. And we reroll both of these with our rock. Heal two hearts at the start of each floor. Sleeping in a bed grants two extra soul hearts. Why not? Okay. I thought I'd grind them both at once. Oh, there's our little bomb spot look. Oh, I missed it. God damn it. Dude! Game. Okay, we got it. Ooh, bloodstone's so good. Um, Spawn a blue fly each new room. Nah. Bloodstone's one of my favorites. I, 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 it was like one of the first ones I ever got. And it's definitely held true as one of my favorites. Periodically begin sucking in enemies. Ooh, no, I don't think so. I think we're at the point now where we're getting too many rocks to really care about the majority of the ones we're finding, which is a good problem to have, definitely. How many Mama Megas are we getting here? Did I break things? There's a, there's a strong potential I broke things here. Because we are getting way more Mama Megas than we're entitled to right now. It might be because it was gold, maybe? Maybe I get six rooms? But it, this will be our sixth, right? Yeah, okay, I, I got six rooms. I think that was due to it being gold. So maybe, maybe them being gold does have an effect. Ooh, it's the triple blastasis here. We do get a pretty huge damage up from being hit though, so we're gonna kill him even quicker now. It's very hard to dodge the shots when there's this many of them, I, I will say. I'm just kind of hoping for the best. Very much hoping for the best. Oh, there's more of you. Sty is pretty good here. And away we go. I don't know what health we're on right now. I think we're on a pretty decent HP. Eh, we could be better. It's not it's not amazing. It's not bad either. Yeah, look at that scaling damage. Oh my god. Yeah, enemies like this had quite a lot of scaling damage. I think at 18, I think we cap out at about 19, 18.7 something by the looks of it. Okay, taken care of. This has been quite the run. Quite a lengthy boy. Still don't know where the, where the hell we're going on this floor. I can't believe like how... Oh dude, the god, it keeps taking me to all the wrong rooms. Stop. It's really annoying me. I'm trying to go one specific way and it's like, no, no, no. Is that another new enemy? That's the thing. They've added new feed for all your enemies to this update. I have zero idea which ones are the new enemies. I'll be honest. That one looks new. This little maggot flying dude. I've not seen him before. But I might just have not seen him before. He might not be new at all. more of you. What the hell? We're keeping our damage bonus going. That's why Bloodstone's the best. Let's take you guys out. Ugh, that eye like still looked like it was alive. It was weird. Okay, stay at this side. Destroy. Bugger tear her up. Easy. And then I think we said Dark Path, didn't we? I will check this out. It's not worth. Right, down to the Dark Path. I realized that I should be grinding things into HP. 
I'm being wasteful by not doing that. I realize that. But at the minute, this run's been going on for a hell of a long time. Um, and I wasn't expecting it to. And I think we're more than powerful enough to to carry on through and do it decently. If we start wavering, then yeah, I'll come back to it and make sure we uh, get some health going. I just love the, like, absolute fanfare craziness of creep that we've got going on behind us and in front of us. Just everywhere's creep. It's great. Oh, dude, that hit me. I thought I'd be able to sneak past that. I love these enemies. Lots of herming shots there. Oh, hello. Wasn't expecting one of you at this hour. Right. Let's go. You shouldn't be too hard. You, you spawn to triples, don't you? Oh, no, no. That's just... It just has a chance to be a champion. It's not always a champion. I thought it was always the red champion, because that's basically what I've experienced so far, but apparently I just got unlucky all those times. It was just a chance. Okay, so first phase is done. Nice and easy. I wonder what my actual damage is. Oh, shit. I forgot you can't stand in cardinal directions with the feet anymore. I completely forgot about that. Okay, this time we will go and crush these down because uh, our health is looking a little bit light. And we do have the ability to do that there. And we got two of them, so why not? Oh, we got three of them, in fact. So we can go boom. And that one keeps coming back to us. And we got a solar Lilith out of it, too. And it came back to us again. It's just giving us more and more. What the hell? It did it again. And again. Isn't it only like a 20% chance or something? Okay, there you go. It's finally gone. Okay, so we got up to full health quite easily there. Uh, that's rather nice. We'll take this. We'll take this. And I think we're just going to get the hell out of here. That was, uh, that was pretty darn lucky. We got up to full health mighty easily there. Oh, I love the fact that our stone remembers the damage that we were on. We're on plus seven at the moment. I didn't think it would. I really didn't think it would. Doubt there'll be anything we want to take here. Eye of the Occult's pretty good. We'll take Eye of the Occult. Good. good. Oh, Tammy's head in a great spot. Oh, we just cannot get it. Fantastic. I'm not exactly sure how best to deal with this room. I think we're just taking out Little Horn here. I don't think much else matters. And I think it seems like we're heading in the right direction here. It's, it's hard to tell this early on, but there's a lot of options for us to go down here. I have already taken a good amount of damage. I think two hearts so far. Not great. Let's just pretend that wasn't my fault, shall we? Can, can, I'm pretty sure we can bomb these, right? We can. Because we have that trinket that allows us to uh, dig up the X max the spot, and it also works on those. So if we find those, with, like, like we've got here, which I know they're kind of hard to hit, but we can actually dig them up. And on this floor, there is a good few of them. And they give us stuff like conjoined. Just before the boss fight. While we have Eye of the Occult. Very nice. Right. The lamb. Yeah, there's a pretty clutch conjoined right there. Not that we needed it, but still very, very nice. We are going to take some hefty damage now. Very hefty indeed. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was a really, really fun run. Um, yeah, had an absolute blast. I love golem runs. They are as fun as ever. And this one, especially with the book, really, really fun. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.